7,500 graduate students depend on a tuition waiver here on the IU campus to help offset the cost of their degree. But it's a financial award that could end up putting them thousands of dollars in debt develops nonlinear correlations between the different inputs. These graduate students rely on tuition assistance waivers. The financial awards allow them to teach, conduct research, or take another job on campus. In exchange, IU, like other schools across the country, waives the cost of a certain number of courses or credit hours. It is extremely helpful. Um, without that, my debt would be almost un unmanageable. Under the House proposal, graduate students would be forced to pay taxes on those waivers. I would be getting taxed on a total over you know, $50,000. Um, and I don't see any of that money go straight to the university. Third year law student Shea Smock says the cost would be high enough to force her to seek more financial help. The amount that we get paid is basically poverty level already. And then if we're expected to pay taxes on our entire education, you're going to have to take out student loans. The university is concerned that taxing the waivers would put advanced degrees out of reach for many. We certainly feel like that having this provision in the bill would uh, maybe depress those numbers for sure. The university is alerting Indiana's congressional delegation of its concerns, but this isn't a done deal. While the House version would tax the tuition assistance waivers, the Senate version would not. Katie Hines, RTV6.